Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Norwich and the Modern Market Theatre. Uh, to the beginning, I suppose, of the last event for the Endure Project. Um, I'm not quite sure where the last three and a half years have flown by, but they have. Um, it's been a really fantastic project. Um, I think we're going to use today to the best effect possible to describe what's been achieved and I think quite importantly signal how what we've learned through Endure will help inform the work that all of us are doing to try and protect the sand dunes in this part of the world. Now, um, in terms of setting the context a little bit, um, some of us have managed to, to turn up in Norwich for this event and others are here thanks to the technology that allows that to happen these days. I, I hope that sort of split between those people who are here and the people who are watching in works as smoothly as possible. Um, I know from other events that I've attended that there is a difficulty sometimes to make sure that the people who are, if you like, remotely watching in and contributing from afar don't get quite the same level of opportunity to to kind of get involved so we'll definitely make sure that that happens so why why did we in norfolk want to get involved in endure in the first place well i think it's fairly self-evident if you if you know norfolk it's a very low-lying part of england most of it is sort of hovering around the sort of 15 meters um, above sea level and there are many parts of it which sit below that level um, and i suppose since 1953 when this part of the world suffered some terrible flooding the whole idea of protecting our coastline has taken on a really significant um, and an, an emotional, I think, as well, a sort of a significant emotional toll on the people of Norfolk. And I would say that a lot of people have, until recent times, felt quite strongly that the only way to protect Norfolk is is to to use a lot of concrete and to think first about hard lines of defence. So, the, so the, the main reason I think we're involved with Indua is that it, it takes the thinking away from that outlook. We've got um, 140, 145 kilometres of coastline. Um, it's a very soft coastline. We've got kind of four types of soft coastline. There's salt marsh, there's loose stone shingle, there's earth cliffs and the theme today of course is sand dunes and what we're dealing with i suppose locally is a very dynamic moving coastline all four of those types of coast are constantly shifting and moving they provide invaluable um, protection for some um, areas of norfolk um, the sand dunes in particular, and I think this project will will show how creating resilient sand dunes is really mostly about working with nature, recognizing that nature can do a really invaluable job to protect us and that we don't need to engineer, but more to kind of look in sympathy with what nature can do for us. And I suppose um, Finally, I'd, I'd kind of like to kind of reference the fact that during the sort of, I suppose I got involved with this project maybe five years ago and it was just an idea. Um, I remember sort of talking about what it might cover and um, how we might approach it. And in those days, we were talking about things like ecosystem services and that's now sort of gained momentum and is, is, is more likely in Britain anyway to be described as natural capital. In other words, how can nature help people and how people need to look after nature to help themselves and the places that we, we hold dear. So I, I won't say much more. I've got a long list of people I, I would like to thank. Um, I think the, the six partners involved with this project will get a chance to 
to talk later, but I'd, I would like to take this, <clears throat> this one opportunity to thank my own team in, in Norfolk, um, the environment team, particularly Alex Latter and Mel Gillings for, if you like, leading from the front to this particular project, but I'm, I'm sure they'll say what I'm about to say, that there are scores of people um, who have helped them in different ways during the course of delivering this project. And I think if there's one thing that we've, you know, we've gained above all else through this project is this sort of sense of partnership working and join up between different agencies and organizations, people within my organization and people beyond it, and even on the other, the other side of the channel. So I hope you have a really great day. Um, it looks like a fantastic agenda and a very interesting program. So thank you very much.